The Texas women, fifth ranked in the country, going for at least a share of the Big 12 regular season title against West Virginia. Start things off with the Tarati pairing. First time in the season we've seen both Bianca and Anna play together in doubles. Texas has dropped nine doubles points this year, so if you point to a weak spot in their team, it's three doubles. They threw a great combination out there at number, one, at number three. Take you now over to number one, Petra Granich, Bojana Markovic. Trying to close things out, secure the doubles point for the Longhorns. And they played some really good stuff. Gronich was all over the net and bringing it early and often. So Texas takes the doubles point needed just three in the singles, and it started Petra Gronich was dominant. Gronich really continued the aggressiveness that she showed in doubles and dictated play throughout. Didn't drop a game, 6-0, 6-0. So that the second point, a hook em from Petra Granich. And the overall number one player in the country in singles, Bianca Tarati, dominant as well, John. Tarati was really comprehensive in her win today. Showed a lot of variety off the ground, moved great overall. Well deserving of that number one spot in the country. Texas had it moving and not to be short changed. 27 in the country, Anna Tarati made it straight sets as well. No one for very few unforced errors, a very high level play. Anna Tarati clinched the match and clinched the share of the Big 12 title for the women's team. They brought the hardware out. Texas able to celebrate a chance to win it outright. Women victorious over West Virginia on the men's side. Longhorns coming off that win over the Cowboys of Oklahoma State, but this the Red River rivalry. These two teams split. Last year, Texas got off to a great start at three doubles. Texas came out with tons of energy and really continued the momentum from two days ago. Starting off number three, Yuya Ito and Colin Marcus gave Texas a great jump with a win at number three doubles. And at two doubles, we see the team that was elevated in Harrison Scott and Christian Sigsgard from three to two after the win against Oklahoma State, and they registered another. And Sigsgard came up big all day long, that low backhand stick volley to clinch the doubles point at number two. And at five singles, it was Rodrigo Banzer that registers the first point in singles for Texas. Banzer grabbed hold of this match early and was not going to let go. Cruise to a straight set win and extended Texas lead to 2-0. And John, maybe if you had an MVP of the weekend individually, it'd be Christian Sixgard. Great I, weekend. I think we're giving it to the Great Dane. He came out, four wins on the weekend, and played some really high-level aggressive tennis, capping off with some big serving today. From Texas showcasing some depth as their Sigsgard wins at two, Banzer at five, and to close it out at six, Adrian Ortiz. Adrian Ortiz was a late scratch from the Friday match against Oklahoma State and came out with a lot of fire today. Longhorns victorious over the Sooners. Four-nothing, two wins on the weekend.